No! Dude canceled his policy so that nobody would save him, and now he's gonna jump off a building. Bob, please. Okay, I don't want to end up in a Logan Paul video. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Just In Time Incorporated. And for today's episode, I'm really hoping that we can make a name for ourselves at this company. Right, we've been working here for like a week, and nobody respects me. Justin, you want to stop? Maybe talk a little bit? Uh, like, the water cooler's right here. We're supposed to gossip, and okay, screw you. You know what? I'm going to earn their respect at some point, but right now, I guess I should save people and do my job. We have about five jobs left. So let's start off with Arms Dealer. Ooh, Steven Abita, age 32, still uses a pager. Threats the client is guilty. Prevent summary execution. That sounds pretty intense. All right, good place to start. Our client has been caught dealing in illegal arms. Fortunately, his policy covers capture by military organizations. Help him find a vehicle and escape. So what, do we just have no morals? We just give a policy out to anybody? This guy is stealing military arms, dealing in military arms. I'm still a little hit or miss about your accent there, robot, but I don't see him anywhere. Uh, that's him, right? So, eh, you look kind of the same. Excuse me, sir, am I here to rescue you? Oh. Oh, uh, I'm gonna take that as a no, a very rude no, rude boy. Oh, crap. We're, we're good. Oh, there he is. Okay, no, I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh, you go away, and then, uh, you stop that. Uh, I'm gonna take this. Are you a good guy or a bad guy? I'm gonna assume you're bad. That was a, that was a good guy. What? I am confused, because clearly that's the guy that I'm supposed to save, right? So, you're this dude, and I'm not allowed to kill you, I guess? Why? So they had no problem with me killing these random guards, just that one special dude that was charging at him that's a troublemaker. So we're gonna have to learn more about this mystery man, but first, uh, I think I'll kill you guys. Can I get a bullet real quick? Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna take one, two for the road. How about that? All right, I'll see you later. So you can go away, and uh, you can go away. So hold on, I'm gonna get up here, turn myself around. What's your deal? You look like military, right? Yeah, you got like little badges and stuff like that. Stop that. Can I just... Oh, 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 uh, uh, this is bad. This is not good because you're gonna hit my guy. Oh, I can turn him off. I can turn it off. I can turn it off. Just get past me. Just move, 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 move. Are you moving? Move faster. No, no. Oh, I can turn them off. Okay, we're gonna need to do that or else we're gonna get more of this. I just don't know how I'm gonna do all of this. Like, I need to take out the guards using the bullets, then I need to turn off the towers, then I need to knock out the mysterious man, and this all needs to be done just in time. <laughs> I don't have enough time, okay? Bullets, please, bring them on. I need it quickly, okay? I need one for the road and one for this douchebag. So, we're gonna take two, that one's for you, and we're moving on, okay? You can have the other one, I'm gonna take this, then we're gonna go over here, and you can have that. Thank you. Okay, he's, just go down, I don't know. Oh, come on. I can't whip any harder, I'm gonna hit my green screen. <laughs> Need to give him little love taps. Gotta go fast like Sanic, okay? We're gonna come over here. We're not even gonna wait for the bullets. We're just gonna disarm you and then move on, right? I don't I don't need bull I don't need bullets. Thank you anyway. Now we're gonna take care of you. You're good. Uh give me that. Alright, you're disarmed, right? I can just you're fine. Okay, guns, guns need to be turned off. Easy. Off. 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 I don't have a code! What code? Ma'am? Ma'am, excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a code? Code 84486. Uh, oh, you're a dude. Oh, uh, I'm sorry about that. No! No! Oh, come on! I got distracted. Like, it, it kind of looks like a chick. 
So he's gonna start running the moment that I knock out that dude, which is not what I want, right? I, I don't want him moving. So let's just go over here. Uh, one, four, one. So over here, one, four, one. Eh. Okay, gun is off. Uh, I'm gonna take this and then go there. And then I'm gonna take this and do some of the, some of that. I think you're good. You are not good, but you will be. Just gonna take that, boop. Where'd that guy come from? I don't remember these guys. Okay, uh, we gotta get the other gun. Other gun, other gun, other gun. I'm just gonna come over here. One, four, one, eh. Okay, are we good? Oh, he'll just surrender if I get rid of his... Oh, okay. So what are we concerned with now? You have a gun. I don't really think you should have a gun, so I'm just gonna get rid of all this. There you go. You're, you're better like that. Uh, hey, 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 what are you doing? You can't run without any pants, right? Here you go, get out of here. You too, general. Give him up. There we go, that's the stuff. Oh, you think you could just come at me with a grenade, huh? I don't think so. That's gonna go right over there. That's a present for you, Point Dexter. I'm just gonna head back over here. We good? I think I finally did it. Everybody's naked or dead or blowing up. <laughs> Wow, that's impressive. So, what, what am I hearing? Oh, oh, crap, oh crap, how'd that get turned back on? No, 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 we good? What the, uh, uh, stop that, uh, uh, don't, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't. Did I do it? I did it! It was the damn Hishi scientist, he ran across and turned it back on. Oh, I should have killed you rather than take your pants. Holy crap, that was, Really difficult. What do you guys? Oh, I see how it is. When I'm not around the office, you guys just kind of get inside each other. Tisk tisk. I was gonna say that was way more difficult than it might come off. <laughs> I took like 20 attempts. So I'm gonna edit out a lot of those. Let's move on to. Oh, a policy violation. That's different. Clown Bob, age 35. Failed clown. Terrible juggler. It seems you need to go over some paperwork with Bob. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's kind of a welcome change, going from machine gun towers to clown paperwork. You need Clown Bob to review his policy. Unfortunately, the situation is somewhat pressing. No! Dude canceled his policy so that nobody would save him, and now he's gonna jump off a building, Bob, please! Okay, I don't want to end up in a Logan Paul video. I don't even have any tools or items or anything like that, so do I just like grab the policy and then go, oh, no, Bob, okay, whoa, uh, that's a first in VR, oh, my feet are shaking right now, holy crap, that's some vertigo, um, what do I do, can I, nope, so that's gonna be a clown splatter. Oh my god, I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> that is, I'm actually so tense right now. That is terrifying. Um, well then, Ooh, okay. How am I gonna do this? I need to sit down. <laughs> I can't, I can't even reach the clipboard. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. I don't have some kind of irrational fear of heights, but I feel like it's just normal human nature not to want to be on the edge of a building, right? So, how do I save you? I mean, can I... Can I... Oh, I could use the... Oh, I could use a fire escape. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Okay, we're, go we're going down. We're going down. We're coming for you, Bob. Coming as quick as I can. I didn't bring the policy with me. I don't know if that was a mistake. Do I catch him? What do I... I mean, I guess I just catch him, right? <gasps> come come to me, Bob. I, I got you, buddy. Uh, <laughs> well, it seems you need to go over some paperwork with Bob. I have no sweet clue how I'm supposed to save him. It has to be with the policy, right? It must be that I need to take this and have him land on it, I guess. Ooh, okay. That is that is so disorienting. It's super scary. All right, no, we're good. We're good. We're, we're just gonna make our way down. 
Blinky, blink, blink. Is there anything here? No, there's nothing here. Right, I can't, like, take the garbage can or something. No. So I, I must just need him to to sign on the dotted line, like, like that. He landed on it. What do you want from me? It has to have something to do with the policy, right? But I don't want him to land on it. I want him to review it. How do I... Can you review this, please? Oh. Oh, I need to actually get him to... Oh, I want you to cancel your policy. Of course. Oh my god, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so now he's not our problem anymore, right? He's, he's canceled the policy. He's filled out the paperwork. Wow. <laughs> okay, get, get me off this building, please. Okay. I've dealt with sickness in VR before, but it's usually motion sickness. Like, people are always asking, why is it that you blink around in these games rather than, like, holding down on the D-pad and just walking around? And it's because walking around makes you motion sick. Like, if you see that you're moving, but your inner ears don't pick up on it, then you get super nauseous and just discombobulated. It's kind of like if you've been in a car before and you're reading a book, or you're playing a video game or something like that, and you get really car sick, it's because your ears detect that you are moving in the car, but your eyes aren't reciprocating that. And this, it wasn't motion sickness, it was just ridiculous vertigo. My legs are still shaking. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the knife factory. What? Blade Co., age 109. Threat, Blade Co. Manufacturing is experiencing an incident at their factory. So, uh... Whole bunch of knives, huh? That should be interesting. The knife factory is going out of control. Defend our clients against their perfectly sharp knives. Seems easy enough. All right. So stop people from getting hit by knives. Okay, time to evacuate Billy Bob, Billy Joe, Billy scientist. I don't know. I kind of expected there to be like knives flying all over the place. This seems pretty simmered. Am I supposed to be doing something right now? I'm super, ooh, that's probably not good. Right, you don't want to be, ooh, hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a problem, all right. So, don't let him turn off the magnet. There's something over there. So let's investigate what's going on over here. Yeah, magnet operational. So, I should be able to just move you out of the way. There we go. Now you're good. Oh, no, no, no. Too far, too far, too far. Take it back, take it back. Right around there? Yeah, that'll be good. I don't want them to fall on Billy Scientist. No, 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 Billy. Okay, he's good. Right, we're good. All right. So you guys can just skedaddle, right? What else we got? These things, oh, oh, no, no, no. I was gonna say, these things look like they wanna be spitting out knives. Can I get over here? There we go. That's fine. Oh, no. Why? Why are they changing? <laughs> Who's operating these machines? <laughs> I know that they're malfunctioning, but this is just ridiculous. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, he's going to get over there and uh, deal with the error. You're going to do something up there. I'm going to go back to the middle of the room and take a look around. Okay. Come on. Come on, uh, uh, Naked Billy. Get a move on there, Naked Billy. Oh, no, nope, 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 okay, no, we're fine. Yeah, there we go, I'm just gonna, hey, how, how do you like it, huh? I'll just throw knives back at you. Yeah, you're not so tough now, are you, you stupid machine? Uh, yes, we did it. That's so much easier than everything else I've done today. Oh, you were the hero. I mean, I was the hero, I, I take all the credit. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Just In Time Incorporated, guys. And next episode might be the finale. Like, I only have three missions left, unless I complete them and they open up some kind of mystery room. <laughs> and we might be done, which is kind of disappointing. I'm really enjoying this game, and I will do more VR. I know people have been asking, you know, where's Gorn? Where are all these other VR titles? I'm just having a lot of fun with this right now, and there's some issues behind the scenes with other games, but I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.